Hello, welcome to our new AbleBits show, where we'll keep you in the loop with six of the most trendy, newsworthy stories of the day. Today, we're talking about Twitter, The Bachelorette, live sports, and more. Let's get going. Historic news from the Supreme Court today, as they decided the Trump administration can't overturn the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or easier referred to as DACA. The ruling protects 800,000 immigrant children who have been brought to the U.S. by their parents. Chief Justice John Roberts was the deciding vote and said the government failed to give an adequate reason for canceling the program. Seeing as how immigration was a large part of Trump's re-election plan, We're going to build the wall. We have no choice. The ruling could have effects this coming November. As pro sports have continued to slowly return to action, one can't help but notice the absence of fans and cheers. Fox Sports commentator Joe Buck recently said that it was a, quote, done deal. It's pretty much a done deal. That the NFL would use artificial crowd noise on TV if there are no live fans for its season this fall. Practice is already being done for broadcast of soccer games in Europe, and some viewers aren't digging the fake audio as they know it isn't genuine. <laughs> Portions of the live audio are even being pulled from sports video games like FIFA Soccer and NBA 2K. This coming Wednesday, you can now tweet using just your voice. No, I don't mean voice to text, but actual audio tweets of your voice recordings. Representatives from Twitter recently said that 280 characters are not enough and some conversational nuances are lost in translation. The process will be a simple click and record, offering a whole new way to share your thoughts. As we get deeper into June and the temperatures increase, remember to take care of your four-legged friends. Flat-faced pups such as Bulldogs, Pugs, and Frenchies, along with breeds over 110 pounds, are more susceptible to the heat. Emily Hall of the Veterinary Nursing Science Department at Nottingham Trent University recommends all dog owners be aware of the risk and the signs, and she notes that age, weight, and breed should all be taken into consideration. Have fun this summer and be careful with your pups. It's vacation time, and with that means a return to somewhat normal airline travel routines. What won't be normal are the new protocols required at airports and by specific airlines. Touchless check-in, revamped boarding processes, empty middle seats, temperature checks, and more are already being implemented. You know, if a mask is required, that might be a deal breaker for me as I feel stuffy enough on a normal plane ride. Exciting news as The Bachelorette is coming back to ABC. The network announced it will start filming in July, starring season 18 contestant Claire Crawley. Production was originally planned for March and should have been airing by now, but the COVID situation set back their original timeline. Expect less travel during the show as it will be filmed in one location as a precaution. You know, I'm interested to see if the contestants will be so eager to kiss amongst the pandemic. All right, that's a wrap. Thank you for tapping into the daily news with me. Remember, you can now post your very own videos onto our platform. I invite you to showcase your passions, gain a new audience, dive into a new interest, be current, and start trends. Thanks for tuning in, Dibble Bits. We'll see you Friday. Bye-bye.